Hello, everyone. All right, so I am on vacation, um, but I have a bit of free time. So I wanted to go through the second part of the Algo Ping Pong video series. All right. So in the last video, we spoke about displacement in price, which can be used to establish direction. Okay, but I'm going to just cut straight to the point, right? You guys can do some backtesting on your own. All right, so but here's the thing. Now, when we talk about displacement, uh, it's basically something like this, something like this, like a, a displacement breaking market structure. Yeah, so a displacement can go both ways. All right, we could see displacement for manipulation. And also we can see displacement as a means of market structure or as a means of candles that break market structure, which can then be used to reference fair value gaps in order blocks. Yeah. Now, in the last video, we spoke about these type of displacement breaks, right? Which gives you direction to the downside. Now, what about the other type of displacement? What about the type of displacement that goes towards uh, the actual manipulation of price? Like for example, let's take a look at these examples over here. And you know what, let me just wait. Uh, before we go for examples, let's talk about this, right? So let's say you have a high and you have a low. Okay. Now, inside of this high and inside of this low, we're going to have a lot of price action. Sometimes there's no price action, meaning sometimes price is just one directional and sometimes price just stays inside like this, right? And there is no real movement unless and until price either takes out this high there and then drops or price does this, takes out this low and then runs, right? Now, what's the main difference in what I just showed? It takes one side and then runs the other side. It takes this side and then runs down. Yeah. So how are we, or how are you able to actually understand that in price? Now, you need to understand your consolidations. Now, I'm not going to go deep into consolidations because that's a very objective measure or there's, a, there's an objective way in which you can measure your consolidations and actually define your consolidations, right? So I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to actually leave that stuff for the private group. But if I were to give you guys a hint, right? It's exactly what I just said. You have a high, you have a low. And inside this high and low, you have a buildup of liquidity. Okay, that's all I'm going to give you. You have a high, you have a low and inside this high and low, you have a buildup of liquidity. Okay. So uh, that's, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's the only, that's the extent to which I'm going to, I'm willing to talk to you guys about consolidations on, right? So when we talk about the manipulation side of things, instead of the break of market structure side of things, we saw that this is your break of market structure there. Okay. Now, like I just said, we have a low, and we have a high. Now, inside this low and inside this high, you have a buildup of liquidity. Okay. Now, whenever you see price displacing towards a low after having consolidated like this, okay. When you see price displacing towards a low after having consolidated like this, what is the next step? Up. Okay, the next step is to the upside. So now you might ask me, Sean, this is the four hour chart. How, 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 how would I enter? Okay, when you're dealing with the four hour, you go to the five minute. Okay, when you're dealing with the four hour, you go to the five minute. Now with the five minute chart, over here, am I interested in doing anything? No, why? Because there is no real move, right? Until this range gets mitigated. All right, so we mitigate the range and we sell off. Okay, now upon selling off, what happens? Go back to the four hour. We take out this low, right? So here, take out that low. Now, after we take that low out and we go down one more time on the five minute chart, where does price really go into? That's the question. Where is price actually going into? It's going into a fair value gap. Where is your fair value gap? Is it from this side of this low? Well, on the four hour chart, it's an imbalance. If I go to the one hour chart, do I find a fair value gap? Do I see a fair value gap? Nope, I don't. So how am I gonna really, you know, operate over here? How, on, or rather what's the context? What's my context for operation in terms of looking for buys over here? 
well price ran down after consolidating in this big range we ran down we displaced lower that's enough for me okay we displaced lower that's enough for me this displacement is your manipulation and the moment we take out the range low we are supposed to immediately run away okay we are supposed to immediately run away so let's look at the five minute chart and see exactly exactly where we actually rated that low we rated that low over here okay this is one o'clock 1 p.m est 1 a.m est sorry 1 a.m est price goes down price goes up mitigates this and then goes lower i don't care about all this i'll definitely get in a sell over here but my actual buy yeah my actually my actual buy is going to be over here okay this is my buy now you might say sean hindsight screw you <laughs> screw you <laughs> this is how i learned all right so 15 minute chart and there is your buy now where am i going to target that's the question my target is going to be hold up i think i screwed up there my target is going to be all the way up here this range high over here that's my target okay so here here we go that's my target so play it forward there you go when you have a manipulation like this right and when you understand that it is a manip now the key here's the thing right the key is understanding you can see this but when it comes to application you're going to go crazy <laughs> or you're going to go real crazy so i already gave you a hint as to how a consolidation should look like your next step is to identify a run on liquidity now it's called a run on liquidity because because price is running towards liquidity price is not just going down like a slow grandma okay <laughs> okay like a slow slow snail like a snail it's not going down like a snail it's running it's running for liquidity that's what it means okay so if when we are manipulating we are running for liquidity and after we have ran liquidity we are running for the other side okay we are running for the other side of the spectrum all right so we are running for the other side of the spectrum now given that we had this move now i'll take this out that's one example can we see another example of manipulation let's play this forward okay now what's the high and low we're working within this high and this low all right we take out the high there can you see it we were running for this high yeah that was it right we ran for the high do we have a sell yes we do five minute chart when you're working with the four hour because you don't want to get uh, screwed over with fake outs asian range all right so let's play the asian range over uh, london Uh, we, need to, we need to play new york as well so for new york what am i expecting i want to see price try and reach over here if it doesn't it's fine it's the concept that matters right all right so it doesn't really reach there unless it does no it doesn't but it's fine it's fine uh the concept worked right so there is your okay i guess you can just use this okay technically work right so here's the high or rather we took out the high to the left on the four hour chart price jabs up here is your cell down you go why though why look at this high right earlier what were we working within this high this low price ran towards this low moved away price ran towards this high moved away yeah what's next right what's next Let's see, let's play it forward. I'm, all I'm showing you guys is manipulation, right? What's next? Okay, I'll show you what's next. Now, what will price do? Saw that? Here's the low. Price is starting to run, 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 ran. Move the other side. The moment it starts moving the other side, what's the next step? Take out this eye. The moment it moves to the other side, what's the next step? We take out this high. Okay. So could you have got in this cell down to go higher? Yep. 
look at the one hour chart. Now, when you're working with the one hour chart, you want to be framing your trades on the one minute, right? So now, if you're looking at the one hour chart, okay, mark your consolidation. So uh, let's see, my, my consolidation would be from this high, to this low here. Okay, look at the high, look at the low. Look at the time spent in this range. A long as time, right? Almost, almost three days. We run towards the high, boom. There's yourself. What's your target? This low. What's your overall target? The sell from the H4 down here. Okay, so you see how a multi time frame approach can, number one, get you your directional bias. Number two, know where the manipulation is. It will help you know exactly where the manipulation is. All right. So, okay. So, if you're looking at this high, now if, if I take you back to replay mode over here and I go to the one minute chart, what, what will I be able to see? Okay. So there's your red right there. All right. High, high, high. Price, price starts dropping from where? Price starts breaking market structure here, 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 and here. Remember from the last from the last session, what do we speak about? We're looking for a displacement break in market structure, right? So where is my first displacement break in market structure? Here. That we displaced right here means making this a valid break in market structure, supporting the fact that we are going to go lower. All right. Okay. Now, from here to here, we are valuing the range. Remember the manipulated range that I spoke about in one of the earlier videos. Equilibrium and above, we are looking for cells. Where did price go to? Equilibrium. Sean, why not take this low? Why not take this low? Can you see a nice break below these lows? No, right? It's from here. There's your cell. There is your cell. All right. Now, can you apply the concept of displacement as a manipulation for this as an entry as well? Can you do it? I'll show you. So we target it over here. All right. Can we apply that same concept into this? Okay. Here we have a high. Here we have a look. Is price finding it hard to move out of this range? Yeah, high, low, high, low. And then it finally starts to run. Look at this. It's running and it's running, 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 takes out the high. Okay, running and takes out the high. And on the one minute chart, if you really want to take a trade, you would take a trade from here. Why? I use candlestick patterns as well because candlestick patterns tell you a lot in terms of smart money trading. Okay, this is a bearish engulfing candle. All right, so when you have a bearish engulfing candle like that, I would just enter straight away because even if it retraces into the range, I'm still safe over here. All right, and where's my target? My target is still all the way down there. Gosh, okay, here. That's my target, right? Now, if I go back to the five minute chart and if I try to you know, if I try to get in the the other the other trade, the buy. If I try to get in the buy from down here, let's just move all, both of these over here. What if I try to get in the buy? Let's have a look. Let's wait for price to melt down. I guess it'll take some time. Let's go to 15 minute chart. A bit more. A bit more. Come on, come on. I think red news event in three, two, one, boom. All right. Over here, we take out this four hour low. It's external, it's a consolidation low. Price runs up. Yeah. Price comes down. Remember this the displacement break in market structure. Yeah, displacement break in market structure. Now, where did it break market structure from? Here. See this high? There. Right, so how are we going to apply this from here to here, right there? Are you going to be looking to buy anywhere over here? Nope. Then where am I going to be looking to buy? Here to here, right? What's this bullish order block? Okay, isn't this a super massive ass bullish order block? Yes. What am I going to do? This. Where am I going to buy? 
stops where below there now that i know it's based on the four hour right now that i know it's based on the four hour uh what am i going to target that four hour high right there you see the four hour high though yeah it is okay that's a four hour high so now if i play this forward let's see if it stops me or it takes me to take profit <clears throat> and we go to take profit it seems like yep okay so do you see how this works do you see how this works guys it's quite powerful so if you really know where to find your manipulations from if you know what the signature of a manipulation looks like this gets really easy now granted while you're practicing it's going to be shit hard because everything's going to look like a manipulation to you but we practice with having a higher time frame view on things right you'll know exactly what you can do and what you can't do okay because i'm i think i'm going to say you know i speak for everyone if i say that you know if price breaks down here you would have definitely thought that it's going to come deeper into this order block or this fair value gap over here right but that's not the case right we are running towards something here especially after price stayed inside this range so that's context price was staying inside this range so if it runs in one direction it's going to run the other direction okay so likewise the one over here as well runs in one direction goes the other direction runs in one direction why price starts to drop and you see see these wicks retracing 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 so a lot of liquidity over here so in order to be able to target this liquidity and go higher we need to take out this low okay so i guess that's uh, something for you guys to study uh, and this is part two of the algo ping pong the more you understand this and the easier it really gets for you to apply this uh, method of applying uh, what do you call it? this method of applying price action analysis in your trading okay it'll make your trading super easy once you're able to see these things through practice all right so with that guys i'll see you in the next one in part three it should be even more interesting than this uh if you like this like comment and subscribe if you don't i can't do anything about it if you need help in you know, in, develop, in developing your model or anything of that sort you know where to find me the membership is there if not you guys can chill out in my telegram journal yeah uh, follow me on instagram it's at sean.d.y and my company account fins of corp uh that's pretty much it man no more plugs for me today I'm still on vacation, so I'll be back and active on Telegram maybe next week. Yeah. So that, guys, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.